Hello, fellow travelers. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey with the series about the channels. And we're here with the 1762, the channel of acceptance, a design of an organizational being. Uh, here we connect the Ajna Center through the gate uh, of following, gate 17, the gate of opinions. It's the ancient law that those who wish to rule must know how to serve. And gate 62 in the throat center, preponderance of the small, the gate of um, uh, Dita, caution, patience, and detail produce excellence out of limitation. It is a very interesting channel um, as it is um, organizing kind of um, what it sees into the world in its own internal picture. And when they're able to organize it, they're able to shape it in um, uh, words and to bring it out to the world. Uh, so gate 17 is actually gate the gate of the right eye. And it visualizes um, kind of uh, the patterns which it sees, trying to organize them through the 62 gate 62 which translates them and manifests the detail through words it's actually these people make up their own words in order to organize uh, what they see and and give the exact um, meaning they come up with uh, quite um, logical uh, let's say uh, pattern or um, logical um, nuance to make things understandable. It is a projector channel, so we need recognition and invitation before actually organizing the other. These people are very good in organizing you and um, in telling you how things have to be done, and they're not so good in organizing their own space, uh, but um, they have their own opinions uh, they can be really strong in their opinions and they would like to share it with everybody. This is um, uh, the collective circuit group uh, understanding and it's keynoted sharing. So they would share their opinions no matter whether you want to hear them or not. And as projectors, this can bring them a lot of um, um, bitterness and um, people can just... Um, not might not be if the timing is not right and if they are not ready to hear you you're not gonna get an understanding you're not gonna have a, a real listener on the other end you're gonna fall on deaf ears so <clears throat> here it's about naming things so those people are really good in naming things in organizing things evaluating them communicating them and giving meaning to what we see and um, what we experience. But whatever this channel, people with this channel can really understand, they can really explain it very well. And um, thanks to those people, actually, we organized our um, sustainable communities. And also this channel, actually um, the 62nd gate is one of the three mammal gates which connect humans to mammals. And um, this particular connection also enhances the training of animals by connecting them to higher cognition in the mind. And since... Um, uh, 4919 the tribal gate uh, the tribal channel is um, losing its connection it is uh, uh, part of the mystical way and it is uh, breaking down and the 49 is actually one of the other three uh, mammal gates and it is about um, a contract we have with mammals to provide for them security and in exchange um, slaughter half of them or 
not have, but use them for food and um, part of the herd, so to say. And as we see, as we're approaching the new era after 2027, uh, with the coming sleeping phoenix and uh, cross of penetration, we are losing this connection. It is breaking down. And mm, more and more people, as you see, we have so much interest in uh, uh, vegetarian type of uh, food, in uh, vegan type of food. Even the new rave children, which are going to start being born after 2027, they will not have that enzyme, which... Um, can even process uh, animal products. They're not going to be even able to drink their mother's milk. So we are losing this connection. It is in the air. And the other two will be very important for us to keep our connection with mammals because mammals, nicely enough, are going to be with us till the end of times. They're responsible for developing the form, the form principle. So uh, this is going to be a very important connection where we can train animals and organize them and indeed connect them to mind, to the higher cognition. Mm. And so we're going to have two connections left. The food chain is gone. Then we have friendship with animals and organizing them. So here, this is the organizing part. Um, basically, here we have a constantly a very busy mind, busy, busy with details um, into the, the feeling of the mental system, uh, always making adjustments to the big picture. Basically, these people, if they say, I don't understand you, it means that they were not able to uh, kind of place what you're telling them in their own internal um, picture in their own internal uh, perception, in organizing it in um, their own internal world, so to say. So um, people with this channel, they have a built-in foundation for teaching or presenting information to others. They really have the gift for effectively translating detailed patterns in uh, visual patterns into language as formulas as theories as uh, hypotheses um which as a logical channel will be afterwards tested for viability and if they work and if they can bring us to a better future then they stand their ground logically naturally looks for that and debate, argumentation, criticism, friction, those are all part of the logical process. Those people will never allow you to change their opinion, but they will be able to listen to you if you talk to them about organizing stuff. Um, they will scrutinize existing patterns um, and mm, if you take it personally, <laughs> that's not going to help you. Um so basically here we have um, a channel which derives um, satisfaction from sharing uh, the entire process. Whoever is around, uh, whoever is available, they will share it with you and they will share their opinions in great detail as well as what they do or don't understand about it. And um, basically you can rely on them to organize you and tell you how to do things, uh, uh, how to form the patterns. Uh, but they themselves, as I said already, are not the most organized beings for their own personal space. It's about sharing here. It's collective. Um, and um, it's a mentally organizing information based on already substantiated opinion with detail um, and it doesn't matter whether it's correct or right uh, they will try and test the patterns and um, look for energy in terms of money um, 
you see projectors, they need material um, recognition. So the more materially involved you are in recognizing the information, their gift of organizing things um, and teaching it, the more um, recognized they will feel and invited to share their opinions in great details. Um, this is a mental transformation of opinion and the detail into organizing, organizing people, organizing processes, organizing animals. Um, so energy will have to be applied to this concept in order to prove that this, in fact, is a good way to be organized and has some validity for the future. Mm. Here we're looking really at uh, patterns for the betterment, for the better future, for how to survive better, how to um, organize uh, things in a better way. Uh, here, basically, this is the channel of the many committees um, and um, <laughs> there can be so much discussion that it doesn't even get to the actual testing. So much talking. Talking, talking, talking. This is Ajna connected to throat. And um, it is the mental process being shared. Shared, shared, shared. And if there is nothing below uh, the throat, um, which is defined, then this will be a mental projector. And... Uh, of course, they will be sharing with you their mental process. And if what if something is defined below, especially if we have a motor, but it's um, split definition, so it doesn't reach the throat, those people will be just talking and not necessarily connected to the energy below. So they don't really know what there is energy to do. But they can talk so be aware be careful that this is a mental mm, talking a mental organization it can be quite um stimulating with its organization stimulating is not the right word but um it can logically challenge you and your opinions and um this is amazing. As long as um, they're invited, they and recognized for their gifts, they can be a great asset to any project, to any committee, <laughs> to any discussion. Um, so yeah, projectors are here to be recognized for their special gifts and really put a light on um, on the subject, ask you the right question so that you hear your truth and kind of see and recognize what um, you don't have energy for, what you cannot do, and they can express it. And this can be difficult to take, but this is why we have the new type of guiding, of leading, after recognition, after invitation to experience, to take the energy, because this is logic and logic looks for energy and energy is so scarce in the logical process. If you look, uh, we're going through the entire um, here, uh, starting from um, 1858, uh, 4816, which is uh, the taste. And then, so the stream of taste. And then we have the 1762 and the 634, which is part of the stream of understanding. It's about understanding. And once they understand the process, they've been able to organize it in their internal picture. And um then once they fit you and 
or their understanding, their worldview, then um, it is with great detail and um, recognize what works, what doesn't work, how to be more effective and efficient. Um, yeah, so opinions, preponderance of the small details, that's what you can get with this channel. If um, you have this channel, I would love to hear your opinion on it and whether you resonate to uh, what I shared and information. Mm, or if you know somebody with this channel, I'll be glad if you write down in the comments uh, your um, um, opinion <laughs> and uh, details of what you noticed. Uh, do they wait to be invited or they just talk and share and they don't care who listens? It will be interesting to, to read your comments, guys. And if you want to know more about the other channels, please subscribe to my channel um, here. Or um, you can also find me on other social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all with the same name, Human Design Journey as well as my email is humandesignjourney at gmail.com and humandesignjourney.com is my website. If you would like to get a foundation analysis or partnership analysis or a solar return, which is done every year, uh, three months before your birthday is the best time. So a great birthday present for yourself you can give or different um, um parts of your life, different periods of your life, um, around 2830, around, um, which is your uh, Saturn return, around uh, 40, between 4044, 40, where is your um, Uranus opposition, or around 50 years of age, um, uh, where we look at the Chiron return, uh, all of that I can be uh, useful to you with, to give you maybe a new revolutionized way of seeing things and give you a new creative direction maybe in life. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey. I love to share uh, my understanding, my knowledge and the original Ra Uruhu frequency. So you're welcome to like and subscribe and show your loving. Bye for now.